What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to update your PS4 if it has a broken Blu-ray drive and you're running into an error code when you try and update the firmware like CU-42118-6, which is a common error code that you get when your Blu-ray drive is not working. And for some reason, Sony made it so that if you have a broken Blu-ray drive and you're getting that error, it will not allow you to update your firmware, so you can't update the system software of your PS4. Unfortunately, this only really applies for jailbroken PS4s, so PS4s that are on previous jailbreakable firmwares like 5.05 and 6.72, 7.02 and 7.55, that are looking to update the latest jailbreakable firmware, which as of the time of recording happens to be 9.00, but I'm sure if a future jailbreak comes out, then this no Blu-ray drive updater will be updated to support uh, updating to that higher firmware in future as well. Uh, so that is basically what this is for. Now this will work on some other firmwares as well, like 5.03 or 6.20, because there are some firmware versions that are, you know, they don't have a direct public jailbreak available for them, but they're still vulnerable to the same exploits as like the 6.72 exploit or the 5.05 exploit. So if you're stuck on say 5.03 and can't update or 6.20 or something and you can't update or 5.55 or 5.56, then you can still do this and update to 9.00. So, you know, there are quite a few firmwares that are supported. I'll put a list of them on screen right now. So if you happen to be on any of those previous firmware versions and you can't update due to a broken Blu-ray drive, then you can follow this process to update to the latest jailbreakable firmware. So to check your firmware version, just head into the settings and scroll down to system and go to system information and you will find your system software version, which is your firmware version. As you can see, I'm on 6.72 and let's say we have a broken Blu-ray drive and therefore I'm getting that error code SU42118-6 whenever I try to update to a higher firmware. So if that's you, if you're in that situation, then you can follow this tutorial to get updated thanks to Lightning Mod's new no Blu-ray drive updater. So in order to get started, we're going to need a few things. You're going to need to have a USB drive. So make sure you have a USB drive plugged into your computer. And then on your computer, you're going to want to go to that USB drive and just make sure that you right click on the drive and go to properties and ensure that that USB drive or external hard drive is formatted in XFAT format. So the file system should be XFAT. If it's not, you can right click and reformat the drive, selecting XFAT as the file system and clicking start to reformat it. Obviously make sure you back up any data on the drive before reformatting it. So at this point, we're going to go into that USB drive and we're going to need to download a couple of things. So the no Blu-ray drive updater requires a payload, an ELF file that goes on your USB drive and a homebrew app that you need to run on the PS4 in order for this to work. So there's kind of three parts to this. So what you want to do is head to the homebrew store package-zone.com. The link will be in the description for all of, the, all of the different things that you need will all be linked in the video description. So download this homebrew app right here, the no Blu-ray drive updater, download that to your computer, then get the Google Drive link for the payload, so the no Blu-ray drive payload, and just download it to your computer as well, as you can see right here. Okay, so once you've got those two things downloaded, we're then going to copy the package file, so the homebrew app to the root of the USB drive, and then we're gonna open up the no Blu-ray drive payload and we're gonna go into that folder and you can see there's different folders for different firmware versions. So you can see this one has, you know, 6.7, so 6.72 or anything 6.7X uh, will work. There's 6.2, there's uh, 7.0X, so 7.02 or anything similar, uh, 7.50, 7.51, 7.55. And I'm sure if there are newer payloads that get added, so if other firmwares get supported in future, then I'll have an updated link that has more supported firmwares in here. This is just the sort of release version, which doesn't have that many right now. So I'm on 6.72, so I'm going to select 6.7x and then grab the USB ELF file and copy it to the root of the USB drive. The payload is also included in here so that if you wanted to inject the payload manually from your computer or host the payload manually on your own exploit page, then you can do so. We're just going to use one that's already done for us so that we can, you know, access the payload quickly. 
So we're just going to do that. So we've got the USB.elf file in the root of the USB drive and the package file for the Homebrew app also in the root of the USB. So all we need to do then is eject the drive and plug it back into our PS4. So from here, we're going to open up the internet browser and then we're going to go to the following site, which is caro218.ir forward slash no BD. So for no Blu-ray drive. So we're going to go there and that's going to take us to the payloads. Now, again, this link might change in the future. So check the video description or the pinned comments in the comments section, because if there's any new site that gets created in future that has more payloads for more firmwares, then I will obviously have that linked down below. So for but right now, though, at the time of recording, caro218.ir forward slash no BD will take you here. And from here, we're then going to run the payload that corresponds to our firmware version, in which case this time it's a no BD 6.7x. So I'm going to select that payload and run it. And now we just wait for the payload to load successfully. Now, when the payload does load, it will kind of make the screen go black for a few seconds and then it should come back. This is because it's also running Mira at the same time as doing the uh, updater, the no Blu-ray drive updater. So it's running that. It's basically a modified version of Mira. So it's running Mira right now. So once it comes back, you can then head on to the settings menu and then scroll down to debug settings, game and package installer. And we want to install the package file that we put on the root of the USB drive. Once it's installed, you can then run the no Blu-ray drive updater. We'll just say, we'll just say update later. So you'll get two options here, no Blu-ray drive update to 9.00 and download firmware for 9.00. So the first thing you want to do is select the download firmware 9.00 and that will download the firmware from the internet. So make sure your PS4 is connected to your network so that you can download the file. So all you're going to do is wait for that download to complete. And once the download has completed, you can then run the next option, which of course is the no Blu-ray drive update to 9.00. So just go ahead and select that option now and click agree. And make sure you don't unplug, you know, the console or anything while this is happening. So when you run that option, it should take you into the actual update and start updating the system. So we get please wait for a few seconds. And then as you can see, it starts to install the update file. And this time, no error message, no SU error, uh, which normally happens after the update has been copied. But as you can see, the update was copied successfully. Now it is installing to the PS4 and we're getting the system updated right here. So once the update completes, it should reboot just like any other update. You may get that database rebuild, that's a possibility. But as you can see, we're back on here. And if we head on to settings and we go down to system, system information, you can see we're now updated to 9.00. So that is basically how the whole process works. Now, if you're a bit confused about how the footage changed there, um, I didn't actually update my own PS4. I'm using pre-recorded footage that was sent to me by Lightning Mods just to clarify in case you think I'm trying to, you know, fake anything. It's not, that's not the case. I just didn't want to update my only 6.72 PS4 to 9.00 since I already have a PS4 on 9.00. So Lightning Mods was kind enough to send me footage of him doing it on his PS4 that has a broken Blu-ray drive. So, you know, that's basically why there was a bit of footage change there. I just want to clarify that. But yeah, that's essentially how the process works. You can update your broken Blu-ray drive PS4 to 9.00 or whatever the latest jailbreakable firmware is by the time you're watching this video. And again, more firmware versions will be supported in future. So if you're stuck on a firmware that is not currently supported by this updater, you know, let Lightning Mods know. And hopefully, you know, you will get a version that will work for your firmware version so that you can then update it to 9.00 with your broken Blu-ray drive. So some people may be wondering about the firmwares that are supported for this. So right now at the time of recording, I would only recommend trying this on the explicit firmwares that are currently supported, which seems to be 6.72, 7.02 and 7.55 or 7.51 or 7.50. Those firmwares will work. Uh, other firmwares are being added as time goes on. So there are some that are not quite, that are still kind of in the testing phase. So there's firmwares like 5.03, uh, 5.50, 5.55, 5.56, and 6.02 
that are currently being worked on. Now, there may be some confusion on how this can work on those firmware versions, because uh, as you probably know, if you're in the jailbreaking scene, you know that those are not uh, firmwares that have jailbreaks for them. There's jailbreaks for 5.05, 6.72, 7.02, 7.55 but not 5.50 or 5.55 or 5.56. Well, it seems that uh, these firmwares like 5.50, 55 and 56, uh, 5.03, 6.2 and 6.02, uh, these are firmwares that are still vulnerable to the same exploits. So the 6.72 jailbreak, um, you know, basically works on 6.02 and 6.20, even though there was no main public jailbreak for those firmwares. So because of that, uh, it's not so easy to get this working on those firmwares because there's no publicly supported jailbreak, but you can still do it on those firmwares because they are vulnerable to the same exploit. And I believe 5.50, 5.55 and 5.56 are probably also still uh, are vulnerable to the 6.72 exploit and, uh, and stuff like that. So that's why these other sort of unusual firmware versions uh, can still work and can be updated to 9.00 using this system but you need a special version of the payload to load on those firmware versions you know that will be provided at some point it's not available yet but again as this develops I will include the links in the description so that more firmware versions can be utilized so definitely check the description of the video and check the comments section to see if I've put up a pinned comment by the time you're watching this video which will include any additional uh, information about how this has evolved over time. So anyway, that is the first look anyway at how to update a PS4 that has a broken Blu-ray drive to 9.00 so that you can access the latest PS4 jailbreak. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.